Good morning guys, welcome to my channel, Man and Motors. Today I've got a BMW 5 Series uh, 2012 520 diesel. Uh, the job today, I've got rear suspension shock absorbers to do and I'll show you how it's done. First I'm going to jack the car up from the back. Jack it up and I've got the axle stand on one side and then I'm jack the other side and get the axle stand on the other. So we've taken the wheel off both sides. And this is the reason why we're changing it because it's leaking. The shock is leaking, so uh, we're going to change both sides. That's what they recommend. It's obviously the age of the car, so that's what we're going to go ahead to do. First, um, to get to the top of the shock absorber, we're going to take this speaker grill out on both sides. So we're going to say on the side. So we're going to take it off to get access to this bolt. I have is uh, these plastic trim tools these are really good so you don't damage anything with this plastic just pry it out this will come this have to go slowly that's it there we go take it off and now we take this speaker out of the way so you've got T25 Torx taking the speaker out of the way and we've got this phone and there you go, there is the access to the shock absorber. So that's what we need to get to. So you got the big there, can't see uh, 30 mil bolts, butter nuts, if you open up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna loosen them off, then I'm gonna go down to the bottom and loosen the big nut at the bottom. So as you can see, I've taken all the nuts off. It's a bit awkward, but what you need, you need a wobbly. We have a 13 socket and an extension to get it because it's, such a, it's right on the edge and you can't get it straight. You need a wobbly like this to get to it. So now we, that's all loose, now we go to the bottom. Now we're here at the bottom. So we need to get to this bolt, which is sits here. That's a 21 uh, bolt, so we're going to get to that now. You can see I got my just about got my gun in there because it's quite a short base gun, Milwaukee. So I just got in there. There you go, well, then the, well you can get a socket in there if you just need a long extension. And it's a bit awkward because you've got so much linkage and suspension arms and all that in the way, so you can get a um long extension and a bar coming out about here crack it open okay now it's time to take it out it's loose okay just tapped it with the hammer and now it's free now will come the exciting part so we need to pry it i'm gonna use my jack handle pry it down and lift it out obviously i can't record it at the same time to show you how it's done um obviously i can't get it out um, easier so I'll have to take the caliper out of the way to get more access to take the shock out so obviously this is electronic calipers so we need to obviously I've plugged my computer in reset the piston so I can loosen this off take the caliper off so there you go taking it off a bit of a mission but I got it off just move this caliper out of the way and you've got a bit of room so you just pry it up and slide it out that way so I thought I'd let you know um, if you don't have a computer to reset the piston you can manually do it by taking these two bolts out here T30 on the other side and then take the motor out and you just uh, take the motor out and then the piston and inside there is I think T40 Torx T50 I'm not sure and you just wind it back manually and then you can push the piston and then take the caliper out. So both of the springs are out. So this comes with the spring and shock absorber, which we need to take the spring and put onto the new one. So now we need to compress the spring. Here's the, the tool to compress the springs. A good friend of mine, Ben Burton, has let me borrow his uh, compressing tool. It's really good, so let's go for it. As you can see, I've compressed the spring. See, it's loose now. So, so now we can take the middle nut. 
off and I'll show you how that's done. So now to do this, it's really tricky, you can't just gun it off because it will just spin. The whole rod will just spin. So you need a 6mm Allen key which goes here. You got a nut 18 or hooks here. Obviously I've got one of these tools, it's pretty good, it's a ratchet with a hole in it. It's a ratchet uh, spanner. So you just gotta get in there in that position. Then you put the socket through here and you catch it. Get a bolt out, so this just all come out like that in one piece. Just inspect that, that seems good. Now we take the spring out as well. So there you go, just remove the old one. So the rubber sits there. And now it's time to put the new one on. This is the new one, all packed. Let's cut the wire to undo that the bolt should be on that and then straight forward so uh new one's all in bolts will not not about tighten up there so now hopefully it's in the right place that needs to line up with those three bolts up there so i've taken off the right way let's see it goes back back in the right way hopefully it'll be perfect if not then we have to adjust it a little bit here and there but hopefully it'll be good so let's go for it so guys what can i say um it was quite difficult i needed another person lucky called a friend over um it was very difficult to get it back in i had to line up the three bolts on top to this as well and plus this uh big bolt what attaches to the hub that was difficult we need to put so much pressure down and then trying to get it in line it was very difficult sorry i couldn't get the recording of that because uh, we were playing around up and down we were literally bouncing on the hub to get it lined up but we got it up in the end um and now it's just a matter of putting it all back together so the wheels all back on calipers all back in and um, just tighten up the top mount bolts as, as you can see uh, it's a bit difficult right here there's three you can see it through the glass rear glass so I'm just tightening that up 